I wanted Barack Obama to be a really, I'm a member of the Socialist Party of the United States of America. I wanted him to, to take rich people's shit and give it to poor people. So, no, he is not a socialist. Republicans, conservatives, if you're watching this, Barack Obama is not a socialist. <laughs> There's no other way I can socialist. say this. I am. I want to take your shit and give it to poor people in the street. <laughs> so, you know, it's a tough situation. Like I said, personally, I love Obama. You know, if I meet him in person, you know, we could be friends. Is he the first black? He's, he's half black. But Are half black always, people considered black people? Partially but, yeah. but, in the eyes of, but, but in the eyes of white people, black is black. I mean, yeah. Actually, a big thing about this is, wow. um, let's take into consideration that um, he's taken the whole, like, uh, he took the blow, pretty much. Yeah. The first black president. Now the next black president doesn't have to go on all these different talk shows and be like, how's it feel to be the first black president? No, 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 no. the people will still be amazed. You the second the, black president? Yeah, how's it feel yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. How's it feel to be yeah. black and a president? He, he was very topic. essential. I, here's my thing. I didn't want him to run when he did. I think the country was going to hell. And I wanted someone else to take the blow. Yeah, and he, I didn't want him to run for president that year. Herman Cain? <laughs> Somebody else. <laughs> Hillary Clinton would have been better, because I, I want to have her no. take the blow, because oh. then he can come in and say, all right, guys. I would not want Hillary Clinton near. Somebody. I, just, I knew that something like this was going to happen. Yeah, you know, because yeah, if you, if you saw the telltale signs, the economy was looking bad when he got mm -hmm. elected. He wasn't going to be able to fix anything. Something of that magnitude cannot be fixed in one year. I'm sorry. For those of you who think that's the case, it's not. I'm saying, I didn't want him to, to run that year, but since he's in office, you know, I really can't do anything now, but not vote Republican, because the Republicans like... The Republicans just... You guys are... If, here's the thing, if you guys want more black people to vote for you, don't say things like this. Um, what, he said something about, uh, instead of asking for uh, food stamps, you need to be asked for jobs. First of all, more white people have food stamps than black people. Get your facts straight, okay? <laughs> don't don't say things like yeah. that. Yeah. It makes it hard for me to want to vote for you yeah, like, when you're just that blankly yeah. racist. Don't say things like the Spanish language is the language of the ghetto. You <laughs> uh, said that. That was uh what's the the guy who looks like a, a little toad? Gingrich? That's his name? <laughs> he said that. Yeah. Every every other country on earth has three or more parties. We're one of the few countries on earth that just has two parties. We got Chevy and Ford. That's all we got. We, we ain't got no Hondas here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, just nothing else. I mean, it's, it's physically impossible to have all your opinions met by one political party. Because they all pander to whatever opinion that they feel is necessary to get elected. It's all the about general, keeping them the general. in power as long as possible. Because as long as they're in power, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can start as many wars, they can bankrupt you, they can... Just do whatever, you know? Look at Mitt, Mitt Romney. Yeah. You know, he banged up a lot of people. Yeah. And he's running for president of the United States. Yeah. And nobody sees a problem with that. And, no, another <laughs> thing, another thing. But before you, you start, you know, you know, I, I guess everyone was expecting me to go, oh, vote Ron Paul. No, don't, don't do that either. Because Ron Paul is a avowed racist as well. Because Ron Paul had dealings with uh, American third position lists, which are essentially fascists, who are, uh, you know, he had dealings with like the guy who founded Stormfront, which is a racist website. He had all sorts of things. So we had to find people who actually care about America, who actually want to get things done and change. So don't listen to people who will tell you, you know, what you want to hear. Dig into what they got to say first, you know? This is what I propose. I think we all need to get together and, and chip in five bucks, okay? Here's the thing, if everybody chips in five bucks, we can get some money. And then what we can do is start lobbying for ourselves. Okay, so use what the rich people are doing. I mean, they're using the system and it's working for them. So we need to start using the system that works for us. Amen. All right, so all we need to do is start, start chipping in some cash. Start chipping in some cash. All right, you know what? Let's, we need to raise the educational fund. Because I'm tired of paying high tuition. Possibly. That's the thing about it. Like Thomas Jefferson suggesting like, what we should do about the Constitution and everything like that. He suggested that we, we do it every 20 years to keep it current and reflect current values. And we really haven't done that. We've done like, we, you know, Abolish slavery, we, you know, get women right to vote, we did a couple of things here and there, but we really don't haven't established today's values. We haven't, you know, established what's important to us.
today in, in year 2012 or the year 2040 or however long hopefully America stays a, a continuous country, you know? What so, are today's values, though? Yeah, I'm it's just money. That's very simple. Yeah, it's, we, economic yeah, freedom, you know? We, I mean, we need capitalism to... has gone rampant. Yeah. It's all about the dollar bill. I mean, I think Wu-Tang Clan said it best. <laughs> Cash yeah. rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, 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 dollar. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> we need people that, you know, are going to vote their conscience. That's all I'm saying. Do you think that Congress is a problem? Like yes. the fact that like, there are career senators and uh, congressmen in there? Yes, absolutely. Like, it's all about getting reelected. It's, it's not about helping people. They can vote themselves pay raises. Exactly. <laughs> um, did, you, did you hear about that story about um, insider trading? How if a regular person would try to get inside information about trade stocks, and then use that information, they can get at least 12 years in prison, right? But you're a congressman, you just get a slap on the hand. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. Actually, no. If you have.